Hey guys, welcome to our fifth lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300. So Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. And in today's lesson, we will learn a few things about configuring your slideshow. Okay, so we will cover four exam objectives, creating a custom slideshow, configuring slideshow options, rehearsing slideshow timings and setting up slideshow recording options. Let's start by creating custom slideshows. We have to go to the slideshow tab and under the start slideshow group you have the option custom slideshow. So click on that and here you have a small window that shows that currently we don't have any custom slideshows and we are about to change that. So we click on the new and here you can give your custom slideshow a name. So I'll name it uh, first few slides like that. And I will choose slide one, three, four and six. Okay. And now to add these slides to our custom slideshow, we have to click add. Now you have a few options to edit the slideshow. So when I have, for example, the slide four selected, I can move it upwards or downwards. I can remove it from slideshow and so on. So let's just stick to these three slides, click OK. And here you can see our custom slideshow. Then we can edit it. We can remove it, copy, close, and we can also start this our custom slideshow. So when I click show, it starts from the first slide of our custom slideshow. And you can see second, third, and the end of the presentation. We can also achieve that by clicking custom slideshow and here you can see that we already have the option to start our presentation by our custom slideshow. So again, one, two and three and we are done. Okay, the next objective is to configure slideshow options. I would say this skill is important not only for your MOS exam, but for your PowerPoint experience in general, because it sets the way the PowerPoint displays your presentation when you click from beginning or from, from current slide. So under the setup group, you click setup slideshow and you have a variety of options here. So show type, this sets either full screen or window according to your usage. So presented by a speaker, individual, kiosk, <coughs> at a kiosk. Next up you have the option to show either all slides or a certain range of slides or our custom show. So let's try that out. I have selected now our custom slide show a first few slides and I run the presentation from beginning and you can see <coughs> that the PowerPoint displays only our three slides and we are at the end. Okay. Next up, you have the option to advance slides either manually or using timings if present. That is the default option. So when you rehearse your presentation and the PowerPoint saves the duration you spent on each each slide then powerpoint if these timings are present powerpoint would advance your presentation automatically but you can always set it that you always want to advance your slides manually okay next up when you have multiple monitors you can set the main slideshow monitor as well as resolution. So by default PowerPoint uses the current resolution of your monitor, but you can also set various other resolutions. You can also check this box to use present review. So in this way 
PowerPoint would show you a presenter view. We will cover that in the other lesson. But let's say it's a view that is optimized for the speaker so that you can see the time, you can see your speaker notes, you can see what slides are next and so on. And here you have show options. So for example loop continuously until escape that would mean that even when you arrive at the last slide and you click next PowerPoint would begin the presentation again so let's try that out you can see first, fir uh, first, second, third and now we are back at the first slide okay <coughs> Now uh, there are other options like show without narration so when you recorded your slide <laughs> using also or your own voice you can choose not to show the narration you can also choose not to show any animations and there's also the disable hardware graphics acceleration by default since Office 2013, I think, the software works works like that to accelerate your presentation or your documents. It would delegate certain tasks of the CPU to the GPU, but if you feel like it causes some performance issues, you can also disable this graphics acceleration. The next objective is to rehearse slideshow timings and what it does is that it enables you to set the duration you spent on each slide and then if you choose this option the PowerPoint would advance your presentation automatically according to your timings. Okay, so we just have to click rehearse timings you can see that PowerPoint is measuring how much time we spent on each slide so I can go to the next slide and it starts measuring again I can pause the recording and resume the recording like that and if I now want to stop the recording altogether and save my timings I click yes and that's pretty much it now we it's not evident that we have any timing set up but if we switch to the slide sorter view you can see that on the three slides that form our custom slideshow we have the timing set up so 8 seconds 7 seconds and 9 seconds and then when we want to use those timings we have to make sure that we have this option selected okay and the last objective that you should know for the exam is to set up slideshow recording options so the option is available here and it would essentially give you a nice environment to record your slideshow so there you have drawing option it sets your narration and so on so this is very useful but I don't think it is tested on the MOS exam because it's hard to measure whether you have done it as correctly as the task sets and yeah this is all for today I hope you find it valuable if so smash that like button subscribe for more PowerPoint related videos and see you next time bye